Welcome everyone to our special edition episode of Coffee and Commerce. We are continuing with which headline is fake with our infamous Blue Corians. And joining me today is Shireen Halal, our SVP of Marketing and Business Operations, and Faiz Mahmoud, our co-founder and CEO. How are you guys doing? Doing awesome. Thank you for having us. Very excited. We decided to make this a competition of who wins. So I feel like if anyone watching this wants to vote. <laughs> they're campaigning, ladies and gentlemen. We're campaigning. Okay, so let's get started. So the first headline we have today, and Shireen, we're going to start with you, is retail sales post big gain in September as consumers show unexpected strength. What do you think? Yes. So I I think this is a true headline. Uh, I mean, I know what we are seeing across all of our retail customers is e-commerce growth and unexpected gains versus what was predicted, especially at the beginning of this pandemic. And especially come September, where you have things like back to school and a lot of retailers planning much earlier for holiday. Uh, this would not surprise me at at all if, if it were true. Fais, do you agree? Yeah, I'm, I'm like 150% agree. Uh, we're, you know, busy getting ready for holidays. And I think we could argue that, uh, uh, you know, we're likely in the midst of uh, what is a very early holiday season. And we're seeing anywhere from 10 to 20% increase in the scale we're seeing right now um, and over the last uh, three or four weeks as well. So I believe this is real. Yeah, and for those counting, I'm 180% <laughs> confident that this is correct. This is not how you win, Shireen. <laughs> awesome. Okay, let's see what the next headline holds. So, Fives, we'll start with you on this one. Fashion brands abandon social media strategies as a result of COVID-19. What do you think? Uh, I think this one's wrong. Um, I don't see how social media is less relevant uh, through COVID-19. Uh, in fact, uh, I do think brands have to be smarter in terms of how you engage, how you uh, address customer acquisition costs on social media, which I think is a, is a legitimate concern, but uh, I don't think by any means anyone's abandoning social media. I agree. Maybe if it was like failing fashion brands abandon social media, it would be true, but every brand we've talked to is focused on community building, on connecting more with consumers, on having two-way conversations, and like social media is such a critical channel to to do that. Uh, if anything, I think we're seeing it become more strategic because so many brands have already started to figure out ways to connect social media with their e-commerce, and that's only picking up. So I agree, this is this is false. A resounding thumbs down on this one. Okay, and the final headline. Retail bankruptcies pile up, but PE firms are still mining for deals. Shireen, we'll go back to you on this one. Yeah, so I, I, I definitely think this is, is true. Like uh, what we know is that retail, there's different flavors of retail bankruptcies. A lot of the times it's focused on restructuring debt in a way that allows for more investment into what is working like e-commerce. And there are a lot of PE companies like Authentic Brand Groups, amongst others, that are investing in retail to help drive more of that success. So if any of the headlines are indicative, like there's a lot of pickup that's happening of bankrupt retailers by PE companies. I think this is very true. Yeah, I wish I had a different answer that was correct and where Shireen was wrong, <laughs> uh, but I can't. So yes, I agree that this one's right as well. I think uh, there is a tremendous opportunity for some phenomenal brands uh, to move from uh, the offline world into a world that's digital without a lot, lot of the legacy um, uh, baggage that they've had uh, in terms of the amount of stores they've had, uh, in terms of how they acquire and retain customers, but also uh, all of the legacy uh, infrastructure that don't allow them to be customer-centric uh, in a way that they can be today, right? So I do think that uh, some of the PE folks who are looking for deals have an opportunity to change that. Okay, well, the votes are in, and I don't know how you guys are gonna break this tie, but you both were correct. The second headline, fashion brands abandoned social media strategy as a result of COVID-19 
is a fake headline. I do agree. I think it's more about how they're using social media versus abandoning it altogether is more of what we're seeing in the media. So um, not sure how we're going to break that tie. So um, in the spirit of the name of this series, Coffee and Commerce, would love to hear from each of you on what your coffee or morning beverage of choice is and why. So Fize, we'll start with you. I have my regular drip. Uh, what I'm drinking right now is a Trader Joe's Nicaragua blend. Uh, I have it with a banana. It fixes me up every morning. I'm, I'm a big fan of Trader Joe's coffee. <laughs> what about you, Shireen? I'm afraid to ask considering your um, monster energy drink addiction. <laughs> I'm, I'm so embarrassed to broadcast this to whoever watches, but yes, I, uh, I drink energy drinks a lot. People who work with me know this, but it's the first thing I drink in the morning uh, before anything else. And before she goes to bed. <laughs> and in the middle of the night. <laughs> I do find myself drinking way more coffee at home than I ever did in the office. And it's literally just the convenience of having my Keurig with my very special creamer every day. And it becomes a treat throughout the, the afternoon. Okay, you guys, well, thank you so much for joining. And thank you everyone for joining Coffee and Commerce with Cascone. <laughs>